So Baby Audio just dropped their first audio instrument called the BA-1. It is modeled after Yamaha's CS-1. And you're probably wondering, is this something I need in my toolkit? Is this something I should buy? Well, hopefully this video answers those questions. So I'm not gonna do a full walkthrough on this plugin. There are other videos online you can watch that take you through the plugin. But basically what you wanna know, does this thing sound good? If you're into like Mike Dean, lo-fi, synth wave type of stuff, this plugin is for you, especially on certain sounds. I've been using it for the past couple of days and I love the brass, the bass, the pads, and the keys are really nice on this instrument. The next question we ask ourselves, is this plugin easy to use? Is there a big learning curve to get it into our workflow? It's fairly easily laid out and it's fairly easy to understand. This plugin is actually really good for beginners who are just getting into sound design and synthesis. Anyone can create new sounds off the bat, especially with this regen button right here. If you don't know nothing about sound design or synthesis, every time you hit this regen button, you're gonna get a usable sound. This plugin is so easy to use. Is it for beginners or is it for pros? As a beginner, you get to learn a lot about sound design and synthesis and you understand what everything is when it comes to synths. But as a pro, you're gonna actually know exactly what you wanna do because it's so easily laid out. You don't have to dive into like back pages and finding effects and all that. So I think it's a little bit of something for everybody, especially for you pros out there who are into designing sound effects and drony type of stuff. For example, if I want to get like a spacey, zappy R2D2 type of thing, I could just go to the filter right here pull up the resonance so that it's self resonating and pull down the cutoff a bit. Baby Audio also included some quirky little sound effects you can apply to your sounds. For one, we have this battery option right here. The original device was able to run off of batteries and as the battery degraded, certain things start to sound a type of way as there was less juice or power for the device and people started to like it and record it when the battery was low. So if I go ahead and degrade the battery, you're gonna to start to hear pitch drift in the sound. That's because there's not enough juice to power everything on the keyboard. And now we're gonna mimic that digitally just by lowering a slider. If I go all the way down or very close to zero, some noise and artifacts will be introduced into the sound. And if I go to complete zero, it's not even gonna play because there's no more juice left. And this was actually something people used to record when the battery is low because they like that sound. Also on the CS1, there was a speaker on the device that you can basically listen to the sound that you're playing or you can record via line out. But what some musicians and producers did was record the actual speaker with a microphone because they liked the way that sounded. So to mimic that recording of the speaker, all we gotta do is turn on the speaker switch right here. So before I do that, this is what it sounds like with it off. <laughs> with the speaker on. And last but not least is the price of the plugin. Is this thing worth it? So if you go to Baby Audio's website, you can buy it for $49, which is an intro sale of 51% off the regular price of $99. Now to me, pricing is very subjective. If this is the sound that you've been looking for and you don't have it and you need it, then $99 is worth it definitely $49 is worth it. But if you have other synths that sound like this, 
it may not be as worth it. So I really don't like to talk about is something worth it or not. It's really subjective to how much you need that sound and how much a plugin makes your life easier. And only you can really answer that question. $49 though, I think it's an easy buy if you just wanna get this type of sound and an easy to use instrument. So that's my quick take on Baby Audio's BA1. If you do have any other questions on the plugin, we can go ahead and chat in the comment section below. But on that, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Later. Peace.